Welcome to the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. Wherever you are today, if you're starting with nothing or are well on your way to the success you desire with the right people, processes, and promotions in place, you will be unstoppable. And now, I'd like to introduce your host, Mike Stromso. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. Uh, This podcast I've been looking forward to because uh, I'm going to learn more about something that uh, I was telling Lee before we got started. Uh, I wish I had known about 10 or 15 years ago because could have helped make a much bigger impact for people uh, in their lives. I am privileged and honored uh, to have on the podcast a new friend of mine. Uh, Most recently met Lee for the first time, learned more about what he's doing, his organization, and Him is an industry uh, professional, great, great guy, Mr. Lee Duncan. Lee, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, ditto. Uh, I can't wait to learn more about uh, you and your organization, what you're doing out there in the world. Uh, I've seen firsthand through some of our members what's going on, and I'm intrigued and can't wait to share uh, with the rest of Unstoppable Nation more about living benefits. But before we get started on that, go ahead and share a little bit about uh, who you are. Anybody who hasn't heard about Lee Duncan and the Alliance Group and everything about you, would you whatever you're willing to share. Yeah, so uh, Lee Duncan, uh, been in the insurance business for about 18 years now. Uh, I graduated from University of Georgia in 2003 with a finance degree. Never thought I'd be in sales, much less insurance sales, but um, met a met a great man, Jerry Stratton, who was my mentor for 18 years and and um, really just showed me the, the, the great things about this business, the ways that you can help people. Uh, through education, through empowerment, and and really just uh, enjoy that part of the of the business. I started as an agent myself, uh, and have worked my way up through uh, through the ranks, and now the CEO and um, and president of Alliance Group. Alliance Group's a independent marketing organization. I'm IMO. We market uh, living benefits, life insurance, uh, through independent advisors across the country, and really help them. Um, with tools and resources to help them educate their clients about this new kind of life insurance that you don't have to die to use um, that allows you access to that death benefit whenever you need it the most through the living benefits. So that's our, that's our main thing that we do and, and what we love and, and do every day. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to learn more about exactly what living benefits are, but you know, back to the insurance industry, uh, I'll suggest that if you asked a hundred insurance agents, how many of them uh, would say I was planning to be an insurance agent <laughs> through my educational years. Uh, what is it, 99 or maybe all 100 of them would say, never thought about it, right? Right. Yeah. Unless you got a uh, family that's been in the business and you just kind of grew up in it. Maybe my daughters one day will, and they'll they'll strive to be in this business. But uh, uh, you know, they they may run from it as well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I resisted it uh, greatly for a couple of years. Dad, insurance? Are you crazy? <laughs> but uh, I am so uh, grateful and blessed that I gave in and uh, pursued the journey of 36 years. It's been wonderful, wonderful. So anyway, let's jump in. I mean, you know, if you think about the independent insurance agency industry, uh, there's the PNC, which is auto home business and everything else surrounding that. But a huge, a huge untapped market is those human human relationships, right? People do business with people they know, love, and trust, and yep. they're already trusting us in that business relationship, but many agents are not asking about the life insurance and those type of benefits. Why do you think that is, Lee? Uh, you know, I, one, it's it's different. It's outside their comfort zone, you know, so if, they, they're, if they're very much uh, systematic in what they do and how they take on clients, sometimes it's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an added thing, and it's, it, it, may, it may not be as easy as uh, adding a, you know, a, a, a homeowner's policy or a, a um, auto policy or something like that. So there is underwriting that you have to go through and not everybody can get it. Um, so the, but one of the things that I, I don't think a lot of PNC agencies out there realize today is that, that it's gotten so much easier to actually get the coverage. We can, we can do policies up to $2 million of face amount with having, without having to go through a pyramid blood and urine like we did in the past. I was actually just talking to an underwriter right before we got on this that, you know, we had to, when I first got in the business, we had to self-administer 
uh, oral swabs to test um, their saliva. I mean, can you imagine doing that today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so exactly. things have changed. Things have gotten better. Technology has gotten better. Underwriting has gotten better. And the speed, the process of actually doing it has, has gotten a lot easier uh, for that independent advisor. And what I think it comes down to is taking that time and adding that habit, making that habit of of doing that extra step and asking each and every client that you have if they have life insurance. And if they do, ask to review it because they may have that old kind of life insurance. They may have an outdated policy. So great point. So we've got an agent, picture an agency, and we've got an agent who asked that question, what are you doing about your life insurance? And they say, well, I've been thinking about that and thinking about reviewing it. But let's say that agent or agency is still not comfortable having that discussion. I know the Alliance Group is very proactive in helping agents in that particular way. What does that look like? So we, well, first of all, uh, we pride ourselves on training, training and support uh, of helping the agency owner, helping the agent, whoever it is that you're putting in charge of, of actually asking that question uh, and giving them all the tools and resources with quoting engines, with um, you know the the information, the materials that they need to be able to answer those questions. But then, if they don't have the answer, you know, and, and during that meantime, of actually having the staff in the back support uh, to be able to help them as well, and and to to get through, get over that hurdle. Right. So you have, I know you have lead agents, uh, and one of them is a member uh, of our programs. Wrong direction. Mm-hmm. And I know that agent is very big on proactively helping people and supporting people to get the business done. So, I mean, if there's an agency out there who uh, maybe doesn't even want to do more than saying, hey, what are you doing about your life insurance? I'm interested and they would like to pass it off to somebody else. You can still help them in that manner, right? Oh, absolutely. So Vetus uh, skips a vicious at Goodwill Financial is uh, he's doing an excellent job with this and, and has more than doubled his life production and is looking to uh, even hit a lot higher goals than, than that. And he's, he, he wants to get to his first million. He, he, he makes make sure I say first million uh, in 2022 of, of actual life production. So uh, he, he's out there and willing to help. He's, he has the agents and the support to, to be able to do that. If, you, if it just needs to be a handoff and you don't want to bog down your current staff uh, with doing this, he, he's there to help as well. Yeah, well, the good news is I've got his first million here. And not only that, I've got his second million. There you go. So anyway, and, and if he earns it, we've got more behind that. So anyway, uh, we want to he- help people those millions. Not only that, we want to provide the protection in those millions. So great job. Thank you. So you make it easy. You provide the support and, and talk about the marketing for just a second. I know that one of the things that I've been so impressed about as I've learned more about the Alliance Group is your marketing arsenal that you provide for the agents to help them market these products is just phenomenal. Yeah, that's one of the things that we wanted to, to make sure to, to do and do really well is, we, you know, seeing tons of independent advisors out there that, um, that haven't, haven't taken that step and set up a website, even today, you know, that haven't uh, uh, done a lot of things to, to market themselves in that local community. And so uh, we, we've created lots of video content from educational videos to testimonial videos with clients that have received money from their life insurance policy while they're still alive through the living benefits. And basically providing that to all of our advisors that, that work with us and that, that helps them with that marketing. That can, it can be plugged into a current system that they have if they already have a system. Uh, it can be you know, a stand up and standalone as well and just really helping to um, to, to, to help with that person, you know, market themselves and market, market the products and, and, and why they're so important. So one of the places that you can go is we have a website set up. That's a, uh, it's an awareness site. Um, it's whylivingbenefits.com, whylivingbenefits.com. So there's some uh, testimonial videos there, educational videos there, uh, where you can educate yourself and see some of the content that, that, that we have that's, you know, customizable, co-brandable with, uh, with you and your firm as well. Yeah, I, I've seen some of that uh, work and it's fantastic. So check it out, whylivingbenefits.com, correct? Yes, absolutely. Whylivingbenefits.com. And if you, you know, you respond in there and reach out and say that you listen to this podcast, we have a, I have a book too that we wrote on living benefits. Um, that's Next Gen Protection is the name of the book. And if you, if you say that you listen to this podcast, we'll send you a copy of this for free. Yeah, fantastic. And, and I've got it and it's very informational and it's got some of those stories in there. 
Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we say in our circles, facts tell, but it's the stories that sell. So let's talk about some of those stories. And if somebody is not super familiar with living benefits, I mean, uh, in the life insurance realm, I'll suggest most people that are maybe PNC uh, heavy, if you will. Uh, we know about auto, home, and business, but we think about life insurance, we think term life insurance or whole life or universal life or flex this and flex that, right? Right. And then you bring living benefits into the game. So clarify for us exactly what living benefits are and why today's modern consumer should consider living benefits as their life insurance um, opportunity. Well, it, it, to me, it comes down to the combo approach, right? So uh, the, con the modern consumer wants their their insurance dollar, their dollars that they're paying for a good and a service to cover more than one thing, right? right. Uh, so the insurance companies over the years have listened to the consumer and they've designed these products that allow that insurance dollar, that pool of money that they create with the death benefit to cover multiple risk. Now, they don't know which one's going to happen first. Maybe you, you're, you buy the policy and you're in a car accident the next day and you pass away. So that death benefit is going to pay out just like the old life insurance. Right. Um, but more likely that's going to happen. And, with, you know, you're protecting your family, you're protecting your business with this life policy is that you're going to have a heart attack, a stroke, a cancer diagnosis, um, maybe a, a chronic illness, like a long term care type need. Uh, so the what's built into all of our policies, whether it's term, universal life, index universal life, whole life, are these living benefits, these accelerated benefit riders is what the industry calls them. Uh, accelerated benefit riders that allow the insured access to that death benefit if they were to become chronically ill. So if they can't perform two out of six activities a day living, bathing, feeding, dressing, toileting, transferring continence, uh, or if they become cognitively impaired, your basic long-term care type definition, then they can accelerate part of their death benefit monthly to be able to take care of some of those uh, costs that are associated with an illness like that. And then, so that's, that's one of the living benefits. The, the second one is a, the critical illness benefit. So that one covers your major critical illnesses that can occur, like I said, heart attack, stroke, cancer, end-stage renal failure, major organ transplant, Lou Gehrig's disease, blindness. And there's you know a gamut of other ones and it depends on the carrier. Some carriers have more than others, uh, but then you're allowed to accelerate a lump sum of money. So if you get a major cancer diagnosis, you can take that $500,000 death benefit and accelerate it today to get money in your hands. And so that could be 100,000, that could be 200,000, it's based on the severity of the case and how, how severe that, uh, that cancer or that heart attack is. Uh, but the more severe it is, the more money you can get. So it's, all, it's a life expectancy calculation. So the insurance company knows that they're gonna pay out this death benefit at some point in time, right? Actuaries of, they got all these actuaries at the home offices and they, they figured out that there's a one in one chance that you're gonna die. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Everything they know they're going to pay out that death benefit. All they're doing with these living benefits is allowing you access to that future death benefit today. And they're just going to discount it for the time value money. How early are they paying it out? What is that critical illness or that chronic illness done to your life expectancy? And they allow you to have access to that um, if you were to have one of those diagnoses. Wow. So it, you're just putting it in a way that's more helpful to people, making people more aware of the potential of the product, which is fantastic. So mm -hmm. uh, let and me it, think you know, of it. They, they, don't, they don't have to use it. They could, you know, they could, they could accelerate part of it, leave, leave the rest of it in force for the death benefit, which a lot of families do that. Um, you know, so, but it, it gives them money whenever they need it the most. My mom was diagnosed with cancer when I was a senior in high school and we went through everything. We lost everything, foreclosure, bankruptcy, um, my mom was a single, single working mom with three kids uh, and, you know, through, she wasn't insurance poor. She had health insurance. She had a, she had car insurance. She had homeowner's insurance. She had all that kind of stuff. She had a life insurance policy, but that life insurance policy didn't give her access to that death benefit. That health insurance policy still had co-pays and still had deductibles. Um, so we, we went through everything and lost everything. And so my, my passion for these benefits are that I know that people can get these policies for the same price or sometimes even cheaper than that death benefit only policy that their granddad bought. Uh, but this gives them just more options, more flexibility if something were to, were, were to occur. Yeah, I do have a personal story. And I, I think you were there from the beginning of the boot camp, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you saw the personal story about the ranch, as we call it, that my grandparents lost. Mm -hmm. 
because I mean, as, as wise and smart as my grandfather was, he went to Caltech, a, a major smart person university in Southern California, they still didn't have the proper protection. And it had they had a living benefits policy per se, and I'm going to dig into that in just a second, that may not have happened. So that's part of my personal journey and my pursuit. With that being said, so if an individual has a, let's just call it a million dollar or half million or a million dollar living mm-hmm. benefits policy, uh, and let's say they need long-term care protection. Let's say they need somebody to come in to care for them around the clock. Is that something that's also included? It is. It, that's the chronic illness benefit that's built into the policies. Um, so once again, you, if you can't do two out of six activities a day living, which is the same definition to qualify for a long-term care policy, you know, bathing, feeding, dressing, toileting, transferring continence, or if you become cognitively impaired, you, you can accelerate part of your death benefit monthly to be able to take care of uh, those expenses that are going to be incurred through that chronic illness, to, take, to have somebody come into your house and take care of you, or to pay for uh, you know, a nursing home, which is, has become astronomical, $8,000, $9,000 a month. Yeah, for sure. And then it says major in illness or injury. So, I mean, that could include a car accident. Yeah. So uh, coma, paralysis, uh, major burns is another category that's, uh, that's built into a lot of our living benefits that, that, that we sell. Um, so we've had, we've had clients that were burned on you know, three quarters of their body and actually received a large benefit from their life insurance policy. Wow, fantastic. Uh, and I can, comes to mind uh, a friend of mine, John O'Leary from Middle America, who's been on the podcast before, spoken at our boot camps. Uh, he too, when he was a young boy, uh, and by the way, so there's no age limit on these policies, right? 85, up to age 85. We can issue- No, the other 85. direction. How young can, um, you know, what's 15, the- 15 days old. I have an eight-year-old and a four-year-old. When they were 15 days old, I bought one of these policies for them. Uh, and, you know, so giving them a, you know, financial foundation for their future. You know, I'm funding it at a, at a large amount. It's a permanent policy, building up cash value, but, but also- you know, that flexibility, God forbid that they get diagnosed with cancer or have some kind of crazy heart disease. Um, you know, I, I'm going to do anything and everything in my power, even if it takes me into bankruptcy to get them all the best treatment that I can. So they each have a half a million dollar policy. So they got a half a million dollars of living benefits. If they were to have one of those things that I got up to that, that I can accelerate to, to help, you know, give them the best treatment that I can. Yeah. What, what a great gift, right. To give somebody that you truly care about. And, you know, John O'Leary, uh, he was in his garage uh, at home in Missouri when he was eight or nine years old, a curious young male playing with matches. And there was a gasoline ca- uh, can, you know, not too far from him. And it exploded. Wow. You know, burned the majority of his body. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. Great story out there helping people in the world. Back to the matter at hand. So this is one of the best kept secrets out there in the life insurance and related field. If you're thinking about long-term care and disability, life insurance, it's all kind of built into one simplified package, correct? Yes, it is. And, and, and you know, I talk to advisors every day that, that haven't heard of it, that, yeah. that, that, that don't know about it. We've, we've been selling it at Alliance Group for about 20 years now, 21 years, and um, kind of the pioneers of, in the industry. And it's, it's one of the things that we We've basically put blinders on and this is this is all we do. We could be a brokerage shop that could sell with every life insurance company out there, but we don't want to. We don't we only want to sell um, policies that that have these benefits built in because we see the value in them and we've seen them help hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of families, um, you know, get get money from their life insurance policy while they're still alive. Yeah. And, and back to whylivingbenefits.com or and or get a copy of the book and, and you can begin to educate yourself more on exactly how uh, living benefits work. I love that. So uh, I've got a list, a uh, bullet pointed list uh, from your LinkedIn page uh, and you're out there on LinkedIn with some great information as well. They can just look for you on LinkedIn, Lee Duncan. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Lee, Duncan. With, Lee Duncan with the Alliance Group, who by the way, is not a superhero. <laughs> He's just truly a life insurance crusader. So Congratulations on your crusade. Thank you. Yes, that's, uh, we, we had fun with that, with the LinkedIn profile and the, the description there. So Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, agents that are, are listening to this and, and thinking about the opportunity that they're missing, because one of our big encouragement 
and helping agents live the UPP life is the simple business plan. Get clients, keep clients. And we're talking about the keep clients phase as well. And it's rare that I say to an agent, are you 3.0 or better or not? And they're going, what are you talking about? I say, do you have three policies per client or not? And the average out there runs somewhere between 1.5 and 2. Mm -hmm. It's a rare day that I see somebody that's three. The natural add-on for an agency who's doing mostly or a lot of personal insurance is that life insurance vehicle or even in business because you can tailor it uh, to help somebody who owns a business as well, correct? Oh, absolutely. And I, I, I think um, you know, it's, a, it's a great cross-sell for uh, people that are selling PNC homeowners and, and, uh, and car insurance. If you sell a homeowner's policy, one next question that you can ask is, do you have mortgage protection insurance? This policy can be put in place and, and actually designed to cover that mortgage. It's, you know, people, people don't buy what a product does, uh, what it is. They buy what it does, right? Exactly. Um, so by not selling a life insurance policy, by selling mortgage protection and something that they, they can see that tangent, you know, life insurance is, is very much an intangible product. So uh, by helping them understand what it is and what it's covering, sometimes tying it to a mortgage, tying it to that debt or tying it to their business, you know? So uh, with a buy sell agreement, if you got multiple partners in a business, um, that business's biggest risk of the business, business failing is not the partner, one of the owners dying, it's them getting sick and not being able to come to work. What happens yep. then? You know, they're the they're typically the rainmaker, especially small business, you know, Main Street America, small businesses. Uh, this is a great product for because of all the protection it provides and for that that one simple, simple price covering a lot of different risks. But yes, for families, for businesses, um, it's a it's a great add on sale. And you're right when you say, uh, you know, getting that client, keeping that client, the more products you have with that client, the more that you've sold them, the 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 more stickiness you have with that client. And it, it's right. You know, you, you, it, the more you keep the client, the more you're going to make, the more profit you're going to make. Right. Absolutely. And we have a spreadsheet that details, you know, if you've got a half million dollar revenue agency or a million dollar revenue agency, you're potentially leaving between one million and two million dollars on the table in revenue over a 10 year period by not adding on that next policy. And what a natural transition you provided for people and you make it so easy and you'll do the majority of the work for them if they don't want to do it themselves and st Absolutely. they'll still get the benefit. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, we're here to help for sure. Our, yeah. our slogan is together we're better. And so we know we're just a marketing company without, uh, without organizations, without agencies out in, out in the field, without agents out in the field. So our job is to help them and, and help them do their job better. Fantastic. It does all start with the marketing. I 100% agree with that. So, you know, uh, I'm looking at some things that agents who might be either watching this or listening to this should be thinking about. So it says, let's connect if you are. And, and this is, these are people that Lee wants to connect with uh, to, to better help them, to educate them. Uh, and, and these are qualified prospects also uh, for the insurance agency business like a family business owner looking to leave the business to loved ones. What does that look like? I, I mean, family owned businesses, you know, they, most of them don't make it to that uh, second generation. Most, most of them don't make it to the third generation. Some of them don't even make it to the second generation. They have all these, these, these wants of, of passing it down and passing a legacy, but then, then the complexity of, you know, maybe you have three kids, one wants to be in the business, the other two don't. How do you, how do you, uh, you do some estate equalization with that. So you're going to leave the, the business to the one, the son, let's say that's, that's helped you run the business. But what about the, the other son and the daughter, you know? And so, you know, having a life insurance policy where the son and the daughter that's not in the business can get life insurance money while the, uh, the son that's in the business can, can get the business and the value of that by, you know, doing some estate equalization for the kids. So the kids don't end up fighting and killing each other uh, after the, the, the business owners uh, gone, you know? So, yeah, a lot, a lot of things like that. So there's, there's very unique planning that goes along with running a family business and uh, by sitting down and going through that and kind of talking through what, what you want to have happen if something does happen right. um, is it is an important thing to do. So we have, we have a lot of, you know, educational materials on that, some animations. Uh, we're just, you know, trying to 
cause a business owner to, to think about some things that maybe they haven't thought about before and, right. and understanding some risks that maybe they're self-insuring right now that they didn't realize they're even self-insuring. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that we also talk about as part of UPP life is we want to build a business that supports our life. We don't want to live our lives supporting our business. And in other words, having uh, the business run us, right? And so that's kind of the peace of mind and protection that you provide. In addition yeah, to that, I mean, even, help- even for yourselves, your agency owners yourself, sometimes I, I've seen it, my, you know, with, with people in the business, you know, the, 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 the old saying, my, my family was in construction and uh, our house, we always had stuff that needed to be fixed at the house. And my mom was always upset at my dad that, you know, why, why, why haven't you fixed this? You know, you're, you're, you work in construction. You know, sometimes that person that's in that business doesn't think about it themselves. Right. And so sometimes it's very important for you and your financial life to take a step back and say, Hey, what happens if something happens to me? What happens to my business? So even yourself, um, you know, looking at this and sometimes that's the best way to understand it and learn it is to apply it to your life and what it means to you and how, how it was, uh, you know, applying for it, going through the process and setting it up. And then it makes it easier for you to have those conversations with other businesses that, that are clients of yours. Fantastic. And it, it makes it much uh, more saleable, if you will, um, because you can say, hey, I've got it myself. Absolutely. So, I, I, hey, I, uh, I'm a firm believer. And if you, if you don't believe it enough to buy it, you shouldn't sell it. Um, and, and, you know, so I'm, I'm sure each and every one of you have car insurance and homeowners insurance and, and the other products that you're selling. If you're going to sell this, I, if you can get it, you should. And, and, and I, I'm a, I, I believe that everybody should have one of these policies and the benefits that are, that are provided here. Fantastic. I'm intrigued. In addition to that, uh, it provides tax-free retirement strategies. Mm-hmm. That's probably a whole nother road that we can go down. But it is. We could do a whole podcast on that. <laughs> uh, so we, we could do a whole another one. But yeah, so we we have uh, ways to be able to design the product so that it builds up cash value uh, on a deferred basis. And then, you know, if if the client doesn't die, client doesn't uh, have a critical illness or a chronic illness and doesn't need those living benefits, then whenever they retire, it becomes almost like a self pension plan, you know, where a self funded pension plan where they can turn it on and have a um, you know, an income coming out of that policy that they, they use for the retirement planning and supplementing their retirement. Fantastic. Um, in addition to that, I've, I've learned that it's much um, faster to build your business by speaking to multiples of people versus one-on-one. And so once I, I, I got comfortable uh, after a lot of lessons, aka failures in speaking in front of groups, uh, I became very comfortable speaking in front of groups of people. So I took it upon myself to go out and just speak to anybody who would listen. If I could get a group of 10, 20, 30 or more people in front of me, I would go present out in front of the group about some form of insurance, if you will. One of the things that you are also willing to do, Lee, and I love this about you, is you will do speaking in front of groups on behalf of agencies as well as a presenter or a trainer, Correct. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's one of the things that I, I do regularly and have done plenty, plenty of times and can, can, can um, curtail it to, to your agency and, 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 and that audience, whether it's a, a group of clients that you're wanting to educate about this or uh, your staff. You know, we do tons of, um, you know, training and, and, and seminars, uh, you know, whether it's myself or somebody from my staff that, uh, that can, can, that can do the education on it. So you, you can learn at the same time that you're, you're educating your clients as well. Yeah. So, so there's a huge opportunity for agencies out there to, you know, get in front of large groups of people, not just onesies to mm-hmm. make that greater impact even faster to grow your business even faster. So that excites me. So, uh, and there's something crazy about just having the book. <laughs> Lee's written the book on living benefits and can prove it. Uh, and so that's another opportunity. Lee, anybody that, again, just remind everybody, anybody wants to get a hold of the book or wants to contact you, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, so one, the, the website, whylivingbenefits.com. Uh, you can reach out, on, reach out to me on LinkedIn. Uh, my email address is lee at alliancegrouplife.com. Lee at alliancegrouplife.com. And so, yeah, I, I I'm, I'm pretty easy to get in touch with. It's just not hard to find me. I'm a marketer. So I want to be out there and everywhere. So, 
Yeah, fantastic. Agree. Um, so at the end of the day, anybody who wants a, a free copy of the book, just take a look at it or learn more about Living Benefits, whylivingbenefits.com. Uh, Lee and his team and Vitas and the rest are there to help agents grow their business to get to that elusive and many times 3.0 policies per client. And, and bigger than that, more importantly, just protect people and give the people the ability to live life on their terms, to have the benefits there when they need them the most, to protect everything they work so hard for. And that's the thing. They are working so hard to get to a point in life. And in so many cases, as we've evidenced before, Lee, and you talk about it in your own story, the fact that they never got to that point because the money disappeared. And Because this- life happened. Life happened. Something something happened. And it, it may not even be the breadwinner. It could be a kid. It could be a spouse, uh, like a stay a work, a stay at home mom or something like that. Um, but these these illnesses can wipe a family out. And there's this um, really an epidemic in this country where there's false sense of security that people have that they think, you know, I got a health insurance policy. I'm covered. I'm, I got the policy at work. I'm covered. Well, it doesn't cover everything. And I, um, you know, many times you see people that, are, that go through one of these illnesses. And even though they have health insurance, they still hit foreclosure. They still go through a bankruptcy, maybe lose a business. Um, so this, this, this policy can provide an extra level of protection uh, for those families, for those businesses that, um, that nothing else really can. That just, you know, really, um, really, you know, kind of get, gets back to the, what, what we do for a living, risk management. So we got to cover all the different risks that they have. And you should be talking to your clients about this because there is a risk that they're, they're taking on themselves uh, of one of their, you know, somebody in the family, somebody in the business that uh, actually suffers one of these illnesses and can't do what they've been doing to generate the income that they, they've been generating into the family. Yeah. A couple add-ons just for food to, for thought to, for everybody. Uh, one of the marketing pieces that I sent out for years, life insurance has never been cheaper than it is today. And, and once that injury or an illness happens, it really prevents you from, you know, getting the best value for your insurance dollar in this realm. Yeah, I, I get people all the time when I explain it to a new client, uh, this is too good to be true. I was like, it's not too good to be true because you got to qualify for it, right? right? It, if, if you've got some kind of, and I don't know if you can get it, you know, and, and, and really you don't, uh, you know, if they've had cancer in the past, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible for them to get this. Um, so it's very important to get it while you can, as early as you can, because right. the younger you buy it, the cheaper it is. Exactly. Exactly. And there's three things that are certain in life, right? Taxes, death, and the thing that we've added on is change. Yeah, right. So something's going to change. So make mm-hmm. sure you take advantage of it before any of these things happen. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Lee Duncan, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast. And I see on the wall behind you, uh, proud Braves fan. Congratulations on your world championship. World Series champion. Yes, I'm a huge Braves fan out of Atlanta. I've been a Braves fan all my life. So, yeah, it was a, it was a big win for us, for sure. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. And you are a winner in getting to know you. And I can't wait to continue to support you and learn more on how we can help people learn more about living benefits and uh, the people that are either watching this and or listening to it. If you have more questions, please contact Lee, uh, Vitas, any of our partners here um, uh, to help learn how to get to that 3.0 in your agency and better protect people. So thank you for the opportunity, Lee. Uh, great Excellent. job. Thank you. Thanks for having me on here. Hey, you're welcome. Anything else you'd like to add as we uh, begin to wrap today? Uh, you know, um, it's, it, you know, we're filming this in Thanksgiving week and just, uh, just have a huge, um, you know, thanks for, for you and, and, and meeting you and, and, and really getting to know your, your community. I have been very impressed with the people that I've met so far, their drive, their passion, and uh, just can't, I, I'm, I'm super excited about working with you guys. Well, we're honored and privileged as well. And uh, we can't wait to just help the rest of Unstoppable Nation and beyond learn more about the living benefits opportunity that's out there that, like you said, a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. So fantastic. Let's go educate. Exactly. The day we stop learning is the day we stop growing. The day we stop learning is the day we stop earning more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. Good. Thank you. Um, So 
if you this is your first time on the podcast, welcome. Welcome to the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. Uh, my name is Mike Stromso. I'm widely recognized as the leading author, speaker, and coach for the independent insurance agency industry. You can find me at unstoppableprofitproducer.com. And again, as a reminder, you can find Lee at whylivingbenefits.com. So if you're interested in att attending a virtual or live event to learn to grow your business, create wealth, and to have more freedom to live life on your own terms, you can visit our virtual event site at uppfaststart.com. Or if you'd like to learn more about our live events, go to beunstoppablebootcamp.com. Both events are designed to share with you some of the best money-making strategies that we've developed in almost 36 years in your industry to help you grow your business, create wealth, so you too can have more freedom to live life on your own terms and Living Benefits is a perfect support vehicle to help you live life on your own terms personally and professionally to help other people. So great add-on. Uh, unstoppableprofitpodcast.com is where you can find this podcast. If you enjoyed what you learned today, go there, subscribe so you don't miss one episode as we learn to help people live life on their own terms and live the UPP life. In addition to that, we're out there on all the channels, Apple, Stitcher, Google, and beyond. So uh, make sure you connect with us so we can help you more. Lee, thank you so much. I am thankful and grateful for you. Look forward to connecting again soon. Thank you. Have a great All day. Right. Have a great day, everybody. Take care and get out there, make a difference, be unstoppable, and leave no regrets. Until next time. Thank you for listening. If you would like to listen to more episodes or share this podcast with someone you care about, please visit www.unstoppableprofitpodcast.com. Now go out and make a difference. Be unstoppable and leave no regrets.